I think there's a lot of uh, misconceptions, illusions, space orbit interpretations. Sometimes you gotta uh, step back from the Illuminati business on the internet. And think about the sum of your thoughts as an individual. I'm a firm believer in seeing the unseen, meaning that what you see, you don't see. The powers that be dealing mathematical equations, they're dealing commerce, they're dealing import, export of trade, the financial sector. They have their military on the chessboard of life to, to protect their coffers, their bank accounts, their offshore accounts, like Swiss bank accounts, what have you. As a man, as a woman, living in this world period you got to know where you at on the chessboard of life who is trying to control you who is trying to steer you away from the most high are you spiritual or are you material we got a lot of people that's walking around they don't even know who they are they just exist or cease to exist. <clears throat> Think about that for a minute. Let me see this camera roll. Hold on for a minute, y'all. Yep. We in there. But yeah, I mean... When you look at the dilemma, when you look at the problems, when you look at the entertainment field, then you got this uh, this founder father of the hip hop culture, uh, band bother, all sorts of allegations, and people like what Star Chamber and all those guys going and attacking the man's character. It's a lot of confusion. I'm not gonna get into that. Get into that. But I look at how this eliminates, how this castrates, mentally castrates the hip hop generation. You know, I grew up in that generation. That's my generation. When Bam Bada was on the scene, I was a little guy going to elementary school. Now to see this man get ridiculed and tore down from the frame is sad and the comments that KRS one made was definitely, definitely not intellectual, that was on a savage level when he commented when he was posed that question about the allegation when it when it's concerning Bambada. So that was totally out of line, I think, too. So that was kind of, you know, stupid. But when you, you got to get into the core of this thing, I see a sabotage. I see a destruction. They're trying to destroy a genre which is hip hop, uh, predominantly Af Afro-American, and still is. They're just trying to destroy it. That's the, whenever you have an ethnic group that's making a lot of money and surviving it and living off the America's pork chop, which is wealth, living real nice, you know, black folks in America, man, like a 10-year period, we ain't never lived like this. Almost a 20-year period. Back then, not too, not too long ago, we was in shackles and chains and working for people's plantations. So we came a long way, but we still got a long way to go. You see all this Black Lives Matter stuff. You see all this attack on the church. You see all this institutional racism, white supremacy, blah, 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 blah. 
All that is designed, order out of chaos by your ancient Illuminati, enlightened son of light brothers that's running around in suits in every institution. Feds, it's octopus. They, you know, they are not spiritual. They material. They God is the God that was kicked from the heavens and is on this earth with his flock, which is the fallen angels. These are the entities. These are the realms they deal in. And a normal person, a normal, excuse me, homo sapien, which is a human being, some of us can't understand that. These are the things these people deal in. You got to understand that. Understanding is everything. If you can't understand the wisdom and logic I'm talking about, I, I just send a prayer up for you because you're not alone. See, you got two types of people. You got evil, good, vice versa, good, evil. Okay? It's in every institution. Like I said, it's in your church house. It's in your job it's in your household it's on your technology you got to monitor what comes in your house and what your kids watch you know you got porn 24 hours a day you got all kinds of debauchery you got people getting executed you got uh, sub webs deep webs you got other other dimensions I mean if you don't put some spirituality in it it's only going to be corruption at the end of the day. Y'all may see this uh, this phone jump around, but don't even pay attention to that. Just listen to what I'm saying. Okay, I'm just checking to see, you know, just seeing if the uh, camera is still rolling, and it is, and that's good. That's, that's good for my part. But, uh, When you look at this, uh, oh, by the way, happy Mother's Day to all the mothers across the world. Happy Mother's Day to all the mothers across the world. We had this Temple of Baal thing. I heard the, you know, stories about that, 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 that sinful place when they was, you know, sacrificing babies and, and, and stuff like that. We were, we really, as a nation, and whoever hears this, we got to pray because it's nothing new under the sun. You have this missing and exploited children, you know, your children on the milk carton that go missing. You had your, I seen a documentary on a uh, highway of tears, all these uh, Alaskan Native American women, I think. Correct me if I'm wrong, but, you know. They they say <clears throat> they please went on to say it probably was a truck driver because truck drivers frequent that highway up there. I think it was it was Alaska or Canada, one of one of the places, and um it was killing these women. And I think they never caught or apprehended the suspect the suspect, so there's a lot of things that uh transpire. When you talk about uh, depopulation, you're talking about people that engage in mass murder. They are mass murderers. You know, mass mass murder has a level of zero to ten to ten to zero. You see, this thing is mathematics. We got demonic mathematics. That's what depopulation is. It's demonic mathematics. Who gives a human being or a uh, uh, a covenant of human beings to, to to decide behind closed doors how many people supposed to be on earth. See, this you got to understand. You got some people that want to be God. They want to be like God-like beings because they have a little bit of IQ. You know, they pass the basic arithmetic and the calculus and the, the timetables and the division 
and in reading and the sentence structures, how to form paragraphs, the sciences, the biologies, and all, all the things that go with fundamental building blocks to education. They passed that and they went on. You know, sometimes man can go beyond his limitations. And sometimes those kind of men lose, you know, they lose this, they just, they just, they lose their mind. They're mad. They go crazy. They're too smart for their own good. And sometimes they tend to go on the demonic side and think, if I know this, I can get, I got everything I want. Hell, it's not enough. I want to be a god now. And there you have it. Not only men, women, that's in these secret societies, these demonic secret societies. Because <clears throat> we have a misconception in this. We think every uh, jurisdiction or every lodge, uh, you know, is satanic. Some of those are nothing but hobnob uh, places like clubs. They just people go there to meet, meet and greet and socialize and drink, get drunk, eat, you know. Eating, getting a drink till they marry, whatever, fall out or whatever, and have fun. They may engage in orgies or two. You know, it's, it's just like that. I mean, it's like your regular club or strip club, what have you. But it doesn't mean they controlling and moving and shaking, moving and shaking world commerce or making deals and making policies in foreign countries and starting wars. And, and instigating strategies to take over people's property and everything, it doesn't mean that. We need to understand this. Y'all probably saying, what are you talking about, man? Well, I'm talking about a lot of topics. I'm talking about, I'm just, you know, explaining to y'all. It's a, it's a bigger picture out here. I mean, what you see is what you don't see. I mean, what you see you think you see, you perceive you see, but you don't see it. You gotta ask yourself a question as a person. Why are you having problems? Uh, why your relationships ain't going right? Why you see all this this mental institution stuff going on on YouTube and every social media network? Why do you see this constant debauchery and this disembowelment of words and mindsets of people just talking out of the side of their neck? Half of them ain't making no sense. They put out videos, but you can't even connect their videos because they everywhere. Like they are schizophrenic, multiple personalities. That's because it's confusion. And I'm going to tell you something. The internet is a good side to it and it's a bad side. And it's part of the octopus of the Illuminati. It's a propaganda machine. It's a media machine. You get, you get any and everything that come across that. Yeah, I mean, you have got people doing... You know, people have even killed themselves live on the internet. So, I'm just trying to break down some stuff for y'all so y'all can be educated. And this is why you got to step back sometimes and do a, self, do a self-evaluation of your life and look in the mirror and say, Am I living to my highest potential or I'm living in a realm of demonic spirituality? Like, like I said, I said again, a lot of us don't even know what the hell we doing. We just exist. We just got to work an everyday job or not have a job or struggling or not struggling, but not living to our God-given talent. And you got to find your niche. You got to find your purpose in life. Something, something for y'all to think about. Something for y'all to think about. Ponder on that. You know, I'm not going to go any longer on this video. Have a good Mother's Day. Peace.
told them myself. Even though I told they them don't myself really know at that point. Ooh, I told them ooh. myself. Y'all want to go worldwide? It's up to y'all. It's up to, it's up to I you. I told him myself. I like what you said, uh, B. Yeah, man, because that's the fucking truth, y'all. I'll put you how up on. It, I'm gonna put you up on my how channel. How you know this, right? Woman, hey, you, know, you listen to me? You know what I'm saying? Is you listen to me? You yeah. going on my channel, nigga? You oh, going shit. on? You going on the internet? <laughs> go ahead. Okay. Does she not have a husband? No, I don't think she ever married. Okay. So. But she do have a baby. But she do have a father, and she claimed that you know the father is dead, or whatever the case may be. But for her to say that in that article, I don't know. But but then again, who knows? Sometimes when people say that stuff, they 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 I wouldn't be surprised if they try to throw her under the bus because she's a black woman. You know what I'm saying? I wouldn't be surprised. But that make them look good because everybody. But she should have came out there. She should have came out there and, and said something about that. And that, and, and that goes for in, in, in any woman that goes on an article. You know what I'm saying? Just like um Fantasia. Yeah. Oh, you gonna be? Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Thanks for the walk by. Was abusive and he was just fucking all this other <laughs> shit. You know what I'm saying? You know her father. You know her father sued her ass or tried to sue her because of that. He literally, he literally tried to sue her. Who? Um, Fantasia. Man. Her baby father was a doctor and he abandoned her and all that shit. That nigga ain't nothing but a street ass nigga. I need some of this footage anyway. Nigga scared to get on. I ain't getting paid off this YouTube shit yet. I'm almost dead. I'm trying to be a sportscaster, dog. So it's, it's fine with you? Huh? It's fine with you? If I what? upload it? Do you, man? I ain't got. What the fuck? Nobody ain't coming at me. Fuck that. Okay, I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm saying. I'm a real ass black man. I'm going to upload your face, nigga. Okay. I'm gonna get your, you know, consent. Since you gonna do that, get, get, do do that with me when I when I try to get, get on the sports shit, man. Cause I love sports. I'm gonna do that too. I love sports. I'm gonna do that shit too. I love sports. I can talk to you about sports all fucking day. All right. Yeah, man. I don't know. But yeah, but yeah, but 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 like I said, you know, that's some real shit. You know what I'm saying? Us black people. You know what I'm saying? Cause. We as black men, we are the superior ones. Even whitey know that. That's why they shooting us down. And now they shooting us down on national TV. What the fuck is going on? So the key is you have to move in silence. Because when Jesus comes, he's going to be like this. Everybody going to be standing on the hill. <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> Says in the Bible. Yeah, yeah, B. Says in the Bible. That's all that's it? You good? That's it, that's it. That's, that's all I got. You gonna, leave, you gonna learn some hold shit on. about Sky? Hold how on, how long you been knowing me, B? I've been knowing you for years, dog. A couple of years, three years, at least. What you trying to do out here, B? Tell, 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 tell them what it's about being a struggling black man. Come on, Paul, get up in here. You know what it's like being a struggling black man? It's hell. You know you're going, you know you're going worldwide, death. Paul. I'll put you on the, you know, you're already on tape. But the thing about us, struggling black men, because I don't consider myself being struggled. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm still alive. I'm still a black man. And I would take that shit to the grave. I am proud of that shit. I don't regret anything that happened to me. I made my mistakes. You know, it's not my fault. I'm a black man. The key is... All of us black men need to fucking know that shit and get a fucking long and then we can make something happen. Just like Cuz said around the corner, he said, man, all it takes is five minutes. That's right. All it takes is five minutes. We need to get our shit together, you know? The problem is, is that a lot of us was raised by a single black woman and all this other stuff, you know what I'm saying? Because the white man done. Told him a bullshit ass fucking dream. Come on, nigga, tell your story. Tell your Come story. on, dog. Come on. And it is what it is. It ain't their fault, but it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? Right. But we as black men, we got to take the initiative and understand that what we going through in America 
If you cross this, you're going to be on YouTube. If you cross this phone, you're going to be on YouTube. <laughs> I'm telling you. We no, as black men in America. Interview. We're going to interview. We going through some shit, of course. Always. You know what I'm saying? We out here dying. You got um black men turning into some fucking faggots and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Ain't no disrespect to that, man. But you know what I'm saying? That's the reality. We have to stand together because when Jesus comes, he's going to come in silence. It's going to come in silence. And that's just as simple as that. You know what I'm saying? That's real talk. Yeah. I'm out here homeless. Yeah. I do drink. So what? Big whoop de doo You ain't no better than me. And you will never be. Because if we was that damn fucked up, why is the white man attacking us? Take the camera. Why is they attacking us? Just take the camera. I ain't been in, I ain't been in, I ain't show my face in a long time. Turn it on me. What's up, y'all? All of my productions. This is all of my productions. I ven been in y'all face in a long time. This is my first interview with my real niggas on the street on Allentown Road. Y'all need to learn. DMV. Ride until we die. DC, Maryland, Virginia. This is what I do. Get at me. It's gonna be some more interviews and trying to get some shit started in this local area. I'm real. Everything you see, sometimes you gotta bring it to the streets. I wanna, I wanna let y'all know I'm just not for myself and for my other brothers trying to pile my brothers so we can bring it back together as a collective and an ideology so we can get this black man and black women together and stop all this bullshit and come to one like we supposed to be. Peace, all the month of dust, come out. Play that shit back, I gotta see that. All right, let's go. What's up with y'all? My name B, you know what I'm saying? From Allentown Road, out in here on these motherfucking streets. And I'm going to tell motherfuckers this shit. I ain't got no problem of your opinion. This and that and the third. I don't give a fuck. But I'm going to tell you my motherfucking opinion. And a matter of fact, I'm going to tell you my motherfucking facts. Motherfuckers been telling on themselves for years. You know what I'm saying? And then they trying to come at me. Oh, well, you can't do this. You can't do that. Who the fuck is you telling me what I can and I can't do? You telling on yourself. You fucking fool. I punch you in your motherfucking face. And I ain't no big bad billy ass either. You know what I'm saying? All of a sudden, I can't go in the store. This, this motherfucking foreign ass nigga that told on himself, fucking coon, tell me I can't go in the fucking store and spend my money. Motherfucker, I don't have to spend my money on you, you fucking retard. You're a fucking retard ass nigga. I don't have to spend nothing on you, nigga. I'm making you rich, not me. I ain't got no problem walk, walking an extra mile and go out there and get a fucking bed. You telling on yourself, Slim. That's a rap. Uh, ain't no music. Ain't no music. Knowledge. Yeah. Knowledge is power, dog. Take off that shit and all that other uh, other bullshit because you don't want motherfuckers mistake. Um, you you don't want that. You don't want that. You don't want that. You don't want that because right now you telling on yourself, dog. You telling on yourself, real talk. You telling on yourself. No, you can wear it. You can wear it, but wear it around the um right crowd. You know what I'm saying? can't be walking up and down the street with that shit on. That's real talk. You a black man. That's real talk. You can't do that. You can't not do that. You can't not do that. And I'm telling you this because I'm older than you. Yeah, you want to lay with all the ladies, you know what I'm saying? Throw these cabarets, man, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs>
They don't show off in front of the ladies because <laughs> when they see that shit, I love, I love they digging too. in your shit. When they see that shit, they yeah, digging man. in your shit. Stop yeah, telling them yourself, you know? You got to move in silence. Stop. Please, stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Real talk, stop it. Oh, oh, hey, you walk around oh, hey, with a ski mask laugh, on your head, and you know, you, 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 oh, you, gotta, you know laugh, what I'm saying? Man. I noticed you took that shit off. And you, they want to know what this is about. It. They want to know what this is about, man. Everybody drop a black lie. They want to know what this is about for real, though. That's Speak all your together. piece, bro. All, that's all together. Speak your peace. Speak your peace. Speak your peace. When you doing all this shit and trying to bling bling and shit, you telling on yourself, dog. You could throw all them game signs all you want. You telling on yourself. Good. You telling on yourself. Fuck oh, around, you gonna be back in CPAC. Oh, <laughs> Real talk, you gonna be back in CPAC. I could have with my uncle. My uncle told me how to do it. You know what I'm this, this real and like life. I said, this real and, life. And I, want, like I, said, I want someone. To, I want uh, before this shit done. Y'all gotta come up with the fucking title because I don't know why I'm gonna title this shit. Like I said, <laughs> you know what I'm saying. Like I said, uh, at the I, end of the motherfucking day, we all out here. We all out here struggling. You know what I'm saying. Don't tell on yourself. Okay, then that's fine. But you told on yourself, I'm struggling. Dog. I'm struggling, though. I'm struggling. You told on yourself. So I, well, I had at the end I, of the I had day, the jury and everything. at the end of the day, at the end of the day, real talk, you I ain't got no my, business I can't my jury. walking around here. Oh, I'm shopping that kid. Ain't no uh, money for that. I, 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 I can like, get out of here. What are you take talking this, about? Take this off. Take this off. No, nah, you can keep that on. You keep that on. You keep it on. I rock it too. On. Shit, I rock that shit too. You can't take that shit off. You walk around like you, you blink, blinking and shit like that, man. You telling on yourself. If I was a fucked up ass nigga, man, I'll run up on you. Hey, son, what's up with that? What's up with that? You the big glissy. Groom, groom, groom. <laughs> ain't got to tell on yourself, dog. You ain't got to tell on yourself. And I'm a real ass nigga. I seen Big Glow. I ain't gonna lie. You ain't got to tell on yourself. You ain't got to tell on yourself. We as black uh, men, we need to move in silence. You got black men like going Glow. in the clubs and shit. It could have been. Making him. it rain and all that show. other bullshit. And the, and, 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 and the females, and, and the females, you know, coming at your ass. And the females coming at your ass and shit like that. And then you want to turn around and talk shit. Oh, she's a gold digger. Motherfucker, you told on yourself. You walking around here trying to do this. You don't have to do that to get a female. You don't have to do that. Shit. Nine times out of ten, I can snatch me a woman. Nine times out of ten. All I gotta do is tell her the knowledge. The liquor gone. All I gotta do is tell her the knowledge. Who got the other piece of liquor? So therefore, now nah, real it. talk. Therefore, hold on, hold tight. Hold tight, man. <laughs> hey, yo, you, you, you reaching out there. You, now you just told on yourself. You tell on yourself, man. Hey, ladies like them. Let me tell you something. Seventy percent of women fake orgasms. Seventy percent of women fake orgasms. So you think you hitting it? You think you doing this? You think you and she? Oh, 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 daddy, oh, daddy, man, man, man. you tell it on yourself, snap. She only tell you that every shit time I, because either she time fuck I'm with crashing, you or she Every time I'm crashing, you know what I'm hey, saying? Yo, one thing about be, women, ah! especially the sisters, they move in silence. They move in silence, you know? And that's some real ass fucking shit. You know, at one point in time, I was banging this sister out. She on the phone with her boyfriend. <laughs> <laughs> you told on yourself. You told on yourself. 
So, I mean, come on now. Let, let's keep it real. Let's keep it real. Shit, fuck all that Bama ass shit. Fuck all that dumb shit. Real talk. Fuck all that shit. Black men need to move in silence. And if the black woman want to join our team, she has to understand what the fuck we going on. I ain't got no problem telling the sister, look here, this is what it is. Here's the blueprint. I ain't going to control you. I ain't, I, I ain't going to beat on you. I ain't going to do nothing to you. You know what I'm saying? Either you with me or you ain't. That's how the white, that's how the white man move. That's how the white man move. That's how the way it's called part of thing. Y'all niggas talk more than the president. You telling on yourself. <laughs> Stop playing with me, man. You trying, you trying to step in the club and ha? Fuck the club. Fuck that shit. Cause the club ain't paying me nothing. If I go in the club, the motherfuckers better pay me. Shit. I went to the strip oh, club the other day and camera. shit. Put me on the camera, man. You, you know what I'm saying? The club, man. No. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> hey. It is they what it is. Up, and I'm telling y'all some real they ass motherfuckers. Up, they ain't gonna hold us up. Shout out to my man Scott. You know what I'm saying? He know what the fuck he doing. He keeping it real. You know what I'm saying? Real talk. And that's why I'm friends with him. That's why I'm friends with him. Because he keeps it real. And I'm keeping it real with y'all. Real I talk. I probably got like 30 baby mothers. <laughs> oh, shit. Then that's a damn shame. You ain't got no business running around here with 30 baby mothers. You told on yourself, nigga. You told on yourself. That's why our younger generation are fucked up now. Because they don't know they fuck. With all ladies, you know what I'm saying? With the black man plays a major the part. With the black man plays a major part. I, I know, I know, I know that. I know that. I know that. I know that. My uncles. I know it's that. It's all about the crash. I'm gonna tell you like this. I'm gonna tell you like this. You want some motherfucking pussy? Get some motherfucking money. Go to the strip club, and wear a bad pinky pants, get on about your business. <laughs> get some bitches. Get Cut. some bitches. <laughs> Dude, Cut. that's... Boy, it's busy out here. It's busy. Birds chirping. I like the sound of that. That damn helicopter. Um... What I'm gonna talk about now? I'm gonna talk about the BBW. Fat women. Look, you brothers, if y'all can't get out the heavyweight, the heavyweight kitchen. I mean, if y'all can't stand it, get out the heavyweight kitchen. Get out of it. I've been with a, I wrestled with some roly polies and some thick sisters in my day. No problem. I had to strategize, you know, had to, had to uh, critique my sex game when dealing with heavy loads, but, you know, the mountain, the, the mountain was good and everything. It was a good mountain. But, it, it, you know, we, we, some of us act ignorant. You know, some of those women have gland problems and have elephantitis, stuff like that. And they have obesity issues and they have stress issues. Some of these women are overweight because The society puts the status quo and how you pose to look and, and like a supermodel. They push this envelope. This is how you pose to look. This is your American beautiful woman. Bullshit. I done seen some beautiful heavyweight sisters or, or whatever y'all want to call it. I call them thick Amazon women in my day. Pretty sisters. Some of you bros cannot handle that. Some of you bros cannot handle that at all. And you can't handle it, well, get you a person with physicality that can that can accommodate you, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, y'all probably get all bent out of shape and talk about the woman, oh, she fat, she ugly, this, that, it's just, nah, 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 don't talk about no one, don't talk about sisters like that. 
I don't have no problem with a, with a unquote unquote fat system. If she have a good heart and, and, and she and she attractive and, I, and, and I'm attracted to her. And she treat me like a man and I treat her like a woman. Oh, she got she got she got know how to you know get in that kitchen do her thing. Hey, that's the way it goes. You know, that's that's my thing. You know, I got my you know my rules and regulations. If you can't cook, well, that that relationship is just gonna be uh, it's just gonna be kind of probably sexual. That's about it. There ain't gonna be no interaction and in no other activities. And that's another thing, man. You gotta know what you want. Don't don't settle for what you don't want. You supposed to be the head, man. You supposed to be the head. Don't go into a relationship. If you know that woman it, it, it doesn't do what things that you qualify her to do sir, as, as you want done, it's time for you to roll out and get a woman at will instead of fighting a woman. And cause See, this this is caused, that caused too many problems. See, that's another thing with us brothers. We don't know how to uh, get out of relationships. When you see the, when you see the warning signs, get the hell out of there. And y'all call yourself players and Y'all, y'all call yourself, you know, getting all kind of women, and y'all want to latch on to a woman for the rest of your life and be miserable because you don't like her ways. You can't change a woman overnight. You can't be captain save a woman, not a hoe. You can't be captain save a woman that you dislike. If you don't like her, get out of there. Remove yourself from her. That's it. And uh, yeah. I hear a lot of this still. It's ignorant. It's 2016. And even they got, if you notice, even they got fashion models now that they made plus size fashion models now. So, that you know, that's that 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 little subject of being anorexic about to fall into the grave business. You can see, you can play, you can play a uh, pinochle on a, on a, on a rib cage. Them, them days are coming to, coming to an end. And I, and I and I say that's sickening. That's that's your sickening fashion people that want women at a certain size at six feet that want to be want them to be like a teenager like they now. Nah. And that's why they look they, to me now. I don't know to other men they must that 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 right there may seem attractive to me. Hell no. But everyone got their own thing. Not me though. I couldn't do it. <laughs> They put they, they put olive oil to shame some of them. Uh, but I like I like I like you know I like thick women and I don't have no problem with them. So I, I just this is for Mother's Day. This is this is for Mother's Day. Y'all 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 big girls listen to this. All among love you. I hope y'all have a wonderful one. Don't let this society get you down. You trying to lose weight, sweetheart? You can do it. Get you a man that loves you. I'm gonna tell you, I you know, on my personal experience, I was with a a plus size sweetie, and when we got together, I had to say nothing. I had to say nothing. We so much in love, she started losing the weight automatically. That's what love do for you. That's what love do when you really love someone. You'll stop eating. When you really love someone, you'll go sacrifice certain things that you wouldn't sacrifice like you was doing when when you didn't, you know, meet that person. And um, you'll do any and everything. You will. To satisfy that person. And you might find yourself losing weight. And that's what she was doing. We were so much in love. <laughs> we ain't even thinking about eating. We look at each other all starry eyed, you know how it is. Butterflies in your stomach. Blah 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 blah. Looking all stupid. As I look back, some of that stuff was funny. But some of it was it, it, some it, it, it's something that you never forget. It's something you never forget. But if you don't feel that feel that with nobody in your relationship, it's not it's, it's not a good relationship. It's a waste of time. So to all my big sisters, my BBWs, I love you. Happy Mother's Day. Hoping you'll hope. <coughs> excuse me, you, you, and. You
I got love for ghetto gaggers too. I got love for ghetto gaggers. I got love for those women. Even though they're taken in the face, eat out of spunk buckets, degrade themselves, demean themselves, I still got love for those women. Because I know they don't know what they're doing. They don't have a clue. I see a lot of brothers pissed off. Then I had to sit back. I'm not pissed off. Because I know majority of those women come from dysfunctional households who do those heinous acts. I pray for my sisters that do that. Because it's diseases in that game. It's people that sit there and lie, talking about they went through their proper health checks, even though they can do that and still contract the virus for somebody else or whatever. You don't know those, those men clean or not. They say they clean, but it's all for the money. You know, that's what it's about. It's a paycheck. And some of you brothers are envious and jealous of the Anglo man because he's doing that. Not so much of the sexual act. Y'all wish y'all was in there. See, you got to watch these guys. Y'all wish y'all was get, getting the flake toe job instead of them in a rough way. <clears throat> and we are, and, and we, like I said in my previous videos, we are engaging in that activity too when it comes to those women. But look, let me tell you something. Some of those women, women are mothers. Who's doing that? They are mothers. The only thing you can do is pray for those sisters. They wake up and realize that what they're doing. Some of those. Porn actresses are mothers. Okay, they have children. Amazing, but not, but really not. It's a business like anything else, but it's a flush. It's the flush trade. Nothing new under the sun. Been been around since biblical days. Yes, it's unethical. Yes, do I do I. Do I like what I when I see that? No, I don't like when I see that. I don't like I don't like my sisters going out like that. But this is the world we live in. So, my brothers, rather than talk about it and be appalled and degrade those women even more and put them more below the pits of hell, once you uphold those women and talk about those women in a good light, because they still are black sisters, okay? I, I know, brothers, it's hard for y'all to really see through the logic, but y'all can. Like I said, I still got love for my ghetto gaggers, too. I don't endorse that. I don't uphold that activity to participate in it, participate in, but I do. I do pray for them. It's like anyone else that they get out of that crap. You know, prayer is a strong thing. You know, I bet if y'all do more videos like I'm doing and it gets wind to some of those women, it probably touch their heart. But no, you black guys stuck in that sex vein. And just like I say, half of y'all jealous because they messing around with a, a other race and they doing all kinds of things with them. So y'all just adding on to it. Y'all just making it worse. And some of the porn guys are participating as black in the same activity. But like I say. I still got love for my ghetto gagger sisters. Peace. Since Mother's Day is around the corner, I'm going to do me a campaign, like a series on mothers. I feel as though Mother's Day should be every day. Because you never know. How long your mother gonna be around? So every time you spend with your mom, appreciate your mother. A mother. Let's think about that, brothers. Ones that bring forth life into this world. She brings forth. We take a lot for granted. Brothers bashing women on the internet beating them down, talking, talking them down, 
verbal, verbal abuse, mental abuse, physical abuse. I'm not saying that all of them are good and righteous because some of them are wicked. But if they mothers, you need to appreciate that. She got to go through pain to bring forth babies or triplets or, you know, some cases of quadruplets and all this and septuplets and this, that, and the third. But think about all the pain, the labor pains, and all the stress these women have to go through to bring forth God's given life. That's what I think about. I think about the, not also the beauty of my, you know, my lustful ways as a man. I look past that sometimes. Sometimes you, as you get older, you're supposed to get wiser. When he, look at a woman. She's a woman, man. And, and she's a mother she has completed a cycle in her life this is why you young women if y'all not ready to be a mother don't lay down with a man and create something that you don't want to take care of it's so easy to say but it's so hard to do I know this but stop doing it because you're bringing forth kids you don't want and as you feed that to your kid your kid is going to intercept that through you through you and once they find out you really don't really love them they're going to be filled with hate this is why you have these young men and women that's doing all this crazy stuff out here when it comes to that i mean Y'all scream, y'all scream, be mother, I mean, be a father to your child, but y'all got to be mothers to y'all child, too. And let's get this straight. It takes two to tangle, like I keep on saying. The worst thing is we have a lot of single mothers. We don't have no men in the household. This is why you brothers should always cherish this day set aside for mothers. Just think of how many homes that's inflicted with no male counterpart in them as them daughters get older they don't know how to interact with males because they never had a male figure in the household to teach them on the opposite side of the track about how males will confront them you can teach your daughter some things but you can't teach them all things Meaning that once they get a certain age, like when they start puberty, like a male does, they need to be with the woman. Because the woman only can teach a woman how to be a woman. Vice versa, same thing with the male. This is why we have a lot of problems. This is why you have a, a lot of boyish females. Because a man thinks he can raise a daughter to be, no, it doesn't work. It doesn't work, fellas. A woman supposed to take care of that. This is, this is why we have a feminine man. Because the women try to think they can raise a son. And a son pick up feminine ways because he always been around females. See? You see the, the logic and ideology I'm kicking? This is why it's so important for the household to be two, not one. Fatherless household or motherless household is not good. When you have opposite sexes. And the other opposite sex is teaching the other opposite sex. It's not good. This is why you need a family unit. You know, I learned a lot of things. I'm still learning a lot of things from my mother. This is why I know how to interact with women. Because she taught me about the female side, about women and what she think I, you know, you know, mother gonna look out for her son far, far as, far as us going out in the world and picking a, and picking a female. See, females can pick up what males can't pick up. Like, I try to mess with, you know, there's some of the women I mess with, and she told me, hey, and she wanted to know about. It, she told me that's not a good one, and I still, and she said, I told you, no good. She said, no good, son. She was no good. I told you that. But you still want to play around. 
They know. Mothers know best. Take the advice, young man. When your mother see that that woman ain't right, it's something, it's something she see that you don't see. See? It's wisdom. Females pick up on female activity. It's like <clears throat> if a man was the father and he had a daughter and wasn't no mother there, he going to know when you bring a boy to the house or you try to introduce him to a dude, a, a man going to know right off what you know? What's up with him? He can see right through. Oh, he doesn't want to get in my get, get in my um daughter's panties. He he ain't doing nothing. Father gonna look at certain things too. Is he working? Is he going to school? What is he doing? You know, he gonna ask questions too. And if you can't ask him those questions. Well, there you have it. So it gets deep. Like I say. I'm going to do this for Mother's Day since I'm going to get this out of the way early because I'm going to do a lot of uh, publications about females, about what I think about black women and all women in general. I love all women of all descriptions, shapes, shapes and sizes. And uh, I'm going to talk about various topics like I'm talking about now and that's the way it's going to be. So peace out. See you to the next one. My prayers and condolences go to the the Shakur family. Let us got wind of it. Actually, I was looking on my Facebook, and uh, one of my family members said something about it. I, then I checked it out for myself, and yeah, we lost a, a very great, very great Moorish. More sister that contribute a lot to the black experience. Freedom fighter, activist, she done a lot. Fought for the rights for black folks. Now I consider this a queen. I consider this a strong Nubian black moorish or more queen this one i'm talking about she she will be greatly missed like i said my prayers go out to the family the shakur family and this is a clear case of telling you this her fruits from her labor magnificent her fruits from her labor was magnificent meaning that she brought forth a man child that took the rap world for a spin for years one of the most poetic masters craftsmen of the rap game i don't care what you say about pop he went through that thug life thing but still he wasn't no thug he was a conscious brother. Okay? He was a brother that rapped about the struggles of the black man and a black woman. And he really did love his mother. Because if he didn't, he wouldn't put his mother in his lyrics when he wrote, the, when he wrote those rap songs and rapped them to us. And we bought his stuff through the years. That was a good brother. Now we lost his mother. We should pray for the family, all of us, because we we are we are losing a lot of uh, heavy hitters. I mean, they're going away from here in 2016, and this is why I always tell you in previous videos: you must live your life to the fullest. Don't waste your time on Earth. Do something with your life. Don't let it go to waste. This is a clear case of two people. Two individuals that done a lot, more than some people do in a lifetime, and they are blessed. And she she's going to meet her son in the afterlife, and I hope everything goes well. I just given my little shout out to the families, the biological family, what have you, 
that's in a, in this morning time, you know, they in the time of morning. So really that's about it. That's all I want to say. Peace and love and blessings. I send my condolences to the Shakur family. May God bless y'all and I hope y'all get over this and keep striving for the best. Peace out, all of my productions. I'm out. Yeah, like I was saying, I apologize for that, folks. You know, my storage ran out, so this is part two. Like I was saying, we was we was divided up in crews and streets. We ain't had that gang shit. Leave that. And that's another thing. To all you, to all you young soldiers, leave that. Let other states and, and cities run their own. Why? One thing that pissed me off, we, we, we got to embrace someone else's activity. And it's bad activity anyway, but stay original. Stay original. You know, I had a, you know, I'm way, I'm way past 21. I had a guy come up to me talking about you and that, you and that crip shit because I was wearing it. I said, man, if you don't get out of my face, I said, man, that stuff don't fly here. If it does, I don't know anybody in the DMV that claim it. If, if it is, it's just on a small level. Not, not to disrespect the gangbanger, but it did not originate it here. We wasn't about that. We was about our own thing. That's what shit get mixed up. That's why there's all these beefs. And stuff because cities ain't stand to their original game banger activities. I do not endorse it though, because when it all comes down to it, it's death. I'm glad I grew out grew out that shit. I'm glad I grew out this shit. I mean that shit, because that's what it is. There ain't nothing, ain't nothing but death. One person kill this person, this person kill that person. At the end of the day, both sides lose. And it's wasted time and wasted efforts for nothing. While you got foreigners and everything coming in your neighborhoods taking over and y'all getting evicted and kicked on the fucking street. Stupid shit. While we kill each other off, other interlopers come in and, and have a good time. And we've been living in America for years and years and years. And these people knew off the boat and come in here and take over. That's a goddamn shame. And it, keep, and it keeps going on. As long as we embrace that gang act, activity, that's what's going to go on. Now, let's get back to the video. Look, I don't 
care about that. I'd rather for a father to do that, discipline his son. That was the tip of the iceberg. Cause I tell you one thing. All you people, you you single, all this single pearl home, which is fucked up shit. If them boys don't get raised at a certain period of time, it's off to the races. And what they get in the street is way more worse than what the father done to his son in that Facebook post. So I don't want to hear that crybaby shit. You know what guns do to you. I don't want to get into the 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 the, the levels of brutality because it's not this not for appropriate youngins on YouTube. But I know what guns do to the human flesh. Yes, I know. And the guns these youngins uh, using on each other is 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 be is it's like a goddamn horror show. That's what he going. That's what. These young people get if they're not raised right. That's what they get in these streets. They get that. They get that. They get that goddamn uh, execution. As a father, at least the father is in his life. This thing of the mother's got to deal with us. And I think he was like 17. He almost, damn, he's practically a man. He's a young man. Let's think about the mother's got to deal with them boys like that. Not even boy, almost a grown man. And American, you know, you know how the age, the, the age limit is. By American standards, he's a, he's a man. They say you ain't grown until you're 18, 19. Okay. To America's standards. But anyway. I consider him as a young man. He get it, he's, you know, he get it worse in the streets. Tough love sometimes is good love. And you sorry ass dudes get over here talking about child abuse. But that'd be the same motherfucker if he wasn't raised right, be sticking a gun to your head and robbing your ass when you get off your corporate job or your construction job or whatever your occupation. That'd been the same young motherfuckers robbing your ass. And know why they robbing you? And might put a cap in your ass because they never been raised by a father. They never had no morals in the household. They never had no man to teach them how to be a man. I'm telling you, you women need to stop this bullshit because when that boy reach puberty, you cannot longer be in his life far as him being a man. Only a man can teach a man how to be a man. Until we get back and embrace the basics and the laws and the oaths of the most high, that's why it's topsy-turvy. That's why it's upside fucking down when it comes to the black community. Y'all crying and shit because he get a little busted nose and a lip. Why these youngs out here get closed fucking caskets and shit? Because they thought they can do anything they wanted. They thought the world was their oyster. They never, they never was raised with responsibility. You think you're going to keep robbing and shooting and hurting other people? That shit ain't going to come in return? You got to be fucking kidding me. You reap what you sow. This goes for all black men, not just the young ones, the older ones, the middle-aged ones, the blind, crippled, and feeble. I don't give a damn. If you fucking with somebody, you're going to get it back. It may not come quick, but when it comes, the motherfucker comes. And usually, it's over. It's lights out. I ain't get this age by being stupid, folks. I learned from my mistakes. You keep pushing that fucking envelope, it's going to open up. And it's something going to come out that motherfucker you don't like. I'm telling you. Tough. Feminine shit. Here we go. This was all your feminine stuff coming from. I don't blame these these young boys. Don't even know some of them. I don't blame the way they act because they've been raised by females. And usually, when you raised by females, you take on the, the feminine traits. That's half our problem. You see, you see the remnants. You see. You, you see the outcry. You see this on YouTube daily. You know, by the way, some of these men act on YouTube, they've been raised in a single family home. Talk about men 24 hours a day. That's, 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 that's some soft shit. Talking about another man's channel, about his, about his dialogue, and his, and his giving synopsis on shit. 
talking about other people's channels, poking fun and cracking them up. That is some feminine shit. And y'all get mad because an older gentleman and a younger gentleman spawn. I think it was in the living room. Yeah, the living room. And they showed him in the kitchen wiping his, you know, paper towel, wiping himself off. He's bloody all up. I seen some of the video. And y'all screaming, outrage. So what? I, I, give, I give him one thing. He had the motherfucker kahunas, boy. He had the balls. He, he already knew that. He already knew he was going to get some uh, repercussions from that shit. That's why he posted it up. He turned himself in, and they charged him. Wish they shouldn't have charged him. Yeah, yeah, charge him. But all these bad motherfuckers running around and doing all kinds of off-the-wall shit. What's up with that? Then, and it, it don't mean nothing until we get shot by a white cop. Then it, it's outrage. But all the black-on-black -black crime, you know, if little Joe, if little uh, 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 little Malik and little little Bone Bone or Day Day or whoever you know, you know the hood names, shoot each other down. It's no outcry. It's just a never walk in the park. You know, well, drug related, uh, yellow tape. That's it. I mean, it been going on for years. It's, it's, it's like it's nothing to it. Oh, this, this, this is on the regular. This is what happens. We have. It seems like we have got casual with young people that's kill off in each other. <laughs> this man should get a fucking medal. Seriously, he should get a medal. Y'all probably say you, 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 you. No, 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 no. No. Like I say, I would rather for the father to do this than. He get it in the street because he probably would not be returning back to his home. He'd probably be in a morgue somewhere by the hand of someone that is his, that is his same age that got in the beef. Or he said something they didn't like. And I noticed in this, these, these motherfuckers can't take criti uh, criticism. Even grown ass men can't take constructive, constructive, constructive criticism. Can't even debate. You see it on YouTube. Motherfuckers get all uh, hyper emotional. Can't even talk through and debate without getting frustrated and want to start beefing and, and threatening people's families and shit because you can't talk like a man, walk like a man, and be as a man and debate as a man, as a man. Wearing y'all motherfucking feelings on y'all coat sleeves. Man up, young motherfuckers and y'all old motherfuckers. Man the fuck up. Learn how to observe. Learn how to learn how to look back and observe your enemy. Some of y'all ain't know y'all motherfucking enemies is. It could be your man right next to you. I know this shit hitting home. Like I keep telling people, the devil don't come in motherfucking frowns. All these niggas you seem like they mad at the world. Them soft ass niggas. Half of them want to grit on you, look at you all kind of way like you, you don't even know the motherfucker looking at you all like he's going to try and do something let me tell you something a real demon is going to come to you casual he's going to talk to you like a gentleman he might be well mannered and well dressed you'll never see it coming that's your demon and I got another saying the devil don't come in no sagging pants or or or, or or how would I say it, saggy pants showing their ass or tight ass jeans which y'all wearing now. He usually comes in a suit. Very quiet. Peep you out. Yeah. Yeah. Hiding up in the cut. Those be the ones they be calling out the shots and people be dropping. And you won't even know it's that person. See? I'm an old, I'm an OG, okay? Speaking from experience, all that rah, rah, rah shit, not appropriate. Think you know everything? You haven't lived long enough to know everything. Talk to you young cats. You got experience life. Everything, everything ain't for everybody, okay? That man done the right thing. He want his 
son to be a success. That's why he done that shit. Don't you understand this? Black man, he want he don't want a son out in the street. Strung out, fucked up, drugged out, drunk out, dropped out, don't have no job. Probably got you know, he don't want his son being in a category of having a, a baby and all got shit, baby mama, ratchet living. This is what happens. When the, when them young boys ain't taught the right way, they perpetuate the same shit. They want to live off a woman. They want to trap. Then they want to get their guns. Then they get it. Then they want to start shooting up their own neighborhood. That's total fucking utterly destruction. And y'all get mad over a little sparring incident that happened and a little bit of blood. Oh, oh, I could just can't stand and stand and say that was humiliating. He shouldn't do this. This is child abuse. They should throw him out in the fucking jail. I read some of these comments in them video. I said, look at these soft ass dudes. These young boys up here getting hit 17 times and shit with heavy artillery. With fucking uh, automatic rounds. And y'all talking about a few little punches to the nose and the lip. I've been boxing half of my life. But sucked that shit up. And had a lot of busted lips. Not a lot. Just let's put a little bit. But I has I had my well, I got my war scars. You can't avoid that coming up in the city. You got to fight, goddammit. Or get punked. Or get punked. Either fight or get punked. That's how it usually goes when you're growing up in the city. That's old fashioned whip ass. That's why I was happy to see that. I say, God damn. I, 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 I love it. This is an old, old, old fashioned whip ass. He done it. He done a good. He done his thing. But. These, the ones that cry, these are your same dudes. That's 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 feuding on the internet. These, these, this, this is the ones that that cry. These are your same ones that can't disagree or agree or agree or disagree. These are the same motherfuckers. Even screaming at women. These are the same men who get up there and cry about black women day in and day out. These are your ones. The dudes that's up here talking about this father was wrong, them are the ones that's causing the bullshit, the shenanigans, the baby crying, and all that. I'm telling you, if men start doing like this man has done, done excuse me, and start raising them young men to be strong, not effeminate. And stand up and be smart, not only strong, not only a brute mentality, an intellectual mentality, put two installments in. Because I'm telling you, an educated motherfucker, an intellectual brother, and a rugged brother that can get it, get it in, that's the most dangerous brother. See, they demasculating us now. Don't you understand the clothing industry, the rap industry? Even YouTube with this bullshit, some of the stuff the, the, the black men be doing. Calling everyone gay, gay this, gay that, gay this, that, that, that. Okay, man. I'm telling y'all, folks. This is why we have problems in the, in black, in the black community. My folks, my folks ain't hit me with the strap, hit me with the switch, disciplined me, slapped me till I seen stars. If they ain't do that, I'll probably be dead. I will, I, I guarantee I'll be dead. I'll be dead. I'll be in someone's fucking cemetery. I paid attention to my elders. When I got out of control, they disciplined me, and thank God they did, because I'll probably be fucking dead. And that's half of the problem. These kids are not raised 
with responsibility and morals. These kids don't even pray no more, half of them. They talk about God as if as though it's a joke. The mothers is running around showing ass on Instagram and YouTube and all these various network sites. The fathers are encouraging that shit, some of them, or they're out in the street trapping, ain't taking care of business, half of them, and they wonder why the youngins out here doing diabolical shit. It starts at home. And this man is a prime example of a good father. I don't give a fuck what y'all say. That's why I went in on this. Uh, on this. Cause I been I was looked at it for a while. That's why I told you I always wait till I wait a little. Like I might even wait a week before I do a video on something that was done a week ago. Cause I want to sit back and see the idiocy of some people. And I seen a lot of soft comments from dudes. These I, I don't I don't give a fuck about the women. I I do give a fuck about y'all, but y'all comments is not non avoid Meaning that these this a man this a man's thing. Y'all comments really doesn't don't shine no light on this on this topic. Not to disrespect y'all. That was about now was a, a woman humiliating, uh, you know, supposedly chastising her daughter. I'll probably say something about that video. It was a video that's a long time ago. I, I don't need to say nothing about that video. Uh, I think it was a video of uh, yeah. She was she was she was talking about her daughter. She stank and she he she just totally just just talk real bad about on put it up on Facebook. But everyone everyone went in on that. I'm gonna leave that alone. That's that happened a year ago. I'm bring something up prevalent. But this that man need a medal. Fuck that. God y'all, y'all tripping, man. He bad he he ain't right. You shouldn't have done it. Man, get the fuck out. Man, come on now. But there's a lot of things going on. Okay. So y'all enjoy the chicanery, and 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 y'all y'all enjoy it, cause I'm telling you now, we gotta wake up, boy. We gotta wake up. That's what I'm all for. I'm all for men being men and women being women. I stand on that solid rock. And when it's not like that, all hell break loose. I'm telling you. I say it. I say it again. Every time people went against God's statutes and laws, every time when people do this, famine, calamity, curses, disease, destruction. Me, as a person, as an individual, if I know this, why in the hell I'm going to go against the principles of the Most High? Why would I even try to try to defy Him or try to uh, 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 be disobedient? Yes, I'm going to be obedient the best way I can. I know, I know well enough. I'm not a fool. I know what happens. I know right from wrong if I do something wrong that's not according to what he put down for us to learn and study and keeping our commandments and uh, keep his commandments. I know not to go and, and make that a mockery and, and, and disrespect all his laws and oaths and dogmas. But y'all, some of y'all think it's a game. And it's not a game when your family gets struck with tragedy due to sin. I'm telling you. It's a lot of people playing games with the creator. The creator, unfortunately, he's not to be played with. And this is why you have all this confusion in the world. And it's going to keep being confusion in the world. And this is one incident that this is good. This is good. I need. We need to see more of this. Let that father be him. Once a part of time, once a part of time. <sighs> Tough love or child abuse. A father and a son. A father and a son. Everyone going off about this. 
this young black male and this middle-aged black male, which is the father. Well, this young man decided to act like an ass at school. I guess the school administrators, the principals, you know, the faculty called him, gave him a phone call, said his son was acting out. So his son got home. The father took it upon himself. Let's get ready to rumble. You know, told, him, told his son to put the gloves on and gave him some tough love. You know, they sparred or whatever. You know, busted nose, busted lip. He was all bloody. Humiliation? No. Real good discipline. I'm tired of you soft, effeminate brothers on the internet. Oh, that was child abuse. Oh, he was too harsh on them. Let me tell you something. When I was coming up in the ranks, I was younger than him. As kids, you know, as inner city kids, we play in the alleyways, play football on the cement and all that crazy shit. You know, tag, football. We played a lot of sports. When I was coming up, we played a lot of sports in the concrete jungle. And it was this alley off the street. Well, the houses, you know, the houses was built, but it was an alley going through there, and it was on houses on both sides. So a guy used to live in one of these houses. He was an older guy. He was older, way older than us. And he was like a street mentor. So he took it upon himself to teach us how to box and teach us how to defend our alley because he used to be other neighborhood kids coming to the alley and start stuff. So when he used to see that, he say, Slim, you know, put the gloves on. You want to fight my mans. You know what I'm saying? You don't have to go get a bat or chain or knife. It was no gunplay back then. If y'all want to settle y'all differences, put the gloves on. And that's how me and my other boys that live around in that block, in that vicinity, got along with kids that was outside that vicinity from other uh, streets and stuff. It wasn't no gangs. We see DC. I'm giving you because I grew up in DC. I'm giving you some little info when I was coming up in my childhood. DC ain't had his had his you know, like this gang shit that's going on now. DC ain't not had no gang shit. We had crews, no, you know, neighborhood, not no fucking uh, rags, no shit like that. That's that that that's. Your demonic slave masters. Slavery is not over to a certain extent. When you think about all the repercussions, man got to go through and woman. It's a form of demonic mental slavery. I'm trying to get people to think a certain way. You have this ongoing onslaught of problems on social media when it comes to whites and blacks. You have your Negro sector, you have your Anglo sector. That's a form of mental slavery. Demonic mental slavery. Not only your social media outlets, your everyday walk of life people. It's going through issues and problems. Stress, lust, jealousy, all the devices the devil uses against us as the human race. And if you don't fight the good fight, you will be in demonic mental slavery. I hope you understand the subject I'm bringing to you. Alcohol, porn, pornography is a, is, a, is a major one. Alcohol, drugs. It's a reason why you can't make it to a certain plateau in your life. What, what do you think that is? Why are you stuck? I'm speaking from experience myself. Why are you stuck? Why are you stuck? Think about it. Why can't you have a good relationship? First, you got to have a relationship with the most high, a personal relationship. You got to get in your comfort zone, wherever you meditate at and pray and pray for a better life. We don't even pray like we used to. All this everything is everything. No, it's not. 
you have a master and you have demonic masters did you hear what I just said you have a master and you have demonic masters now who you gonna pledge to God or the demonic masters You have all these diseases. You have all these conspiracy theories. Uh, case in point, Prince just passed away not too long ago. They couldn't wait till the man even get cremated. They couldn't, they, they couldn't even wait. Not even respecting the man's passing, coming on social media talking about Illuminati this, he's, he's a blood sacrifice this. This is the idiocy that plagues mankind. This is your demonic masters at work. You got to stay in tune with the most high. I don't care what people say. Low self-esteem, heavyweight obese sisters have a problem. Guys talking them down, mental abuse, verbal, verbal abuse, excuse me. All kinds of devices to keep you down. Those people are possessed because the demonic masters are running their lives. This is your savage. This is your killers. This is, this, this is all your social media fiascos, your twerkers, your pornography, your ghetto gaggers, your uh, bashing a black woman 24 hours a day, 300, 365 days out the year. These are your demonic masters. And y'all mentally enslaved. See, it's two kinds of slaveries. That slavery about white, the, the slavery, the slave man crutch about white supremacy, that's an old slavery. And we tend to hang on that. So we mentally enslaving ourselves again when we keep on blaming slavery on our lifestyles now. You cannot use that crutch. Let me tell you something real quick. The ones who brought us over here and enslaved us in America, it's already been sold up a long time ago. They fulfill their fruition. They fulfill the economy. They built the United States off our blood, sweat, and tears. And it's all sold up. This is why you have families rich today off of our blood, sweat, and tears. And it's so intertwined. It's, it's, it's just un, unthinkable, unmentionable how deep it, how deep the hole go. But we, we tend to dwell on that. By unknowingly, unknowingly, by dwelling on that, you put yourself in mental slavery. And the slave masters got you again. You cannot dwell on the past too much. Learn from the past. Now, hold on. Learn from, I ain't saying disregard history. Learn your history. Take what you can get. Understand what you can understand and move on. And don't let it happen again. But these things that plagues African Americans, we going backwards because we keep focusing on the wrong things. We focus on that and we focus on stuff now that is destroying the fabric of our American and African experience. And you're being controlled by demonic masters and slave masters. They are slave masters. They enslave your mind. Okay? You have your satanic banking system. Yes, you do. You have your cabals and institutions of filth, sex orgies, sex magic, different practices, people trying to be godlike, people writing books talking about it's no God. It's no God. It's no devil. All these are. Are dimensions, of multi personalities, of people that is in the mix with the demonic masters. You have to watch these people. On this rainy day on Sunday, May the first. I want y'all to look up the date, May the first. And see all the shenanigans that went down on this day. And, st and stuff going on right now as I'm pr producing this video. As I'm producing this video, stuff is going down right now. This is, this is a significant date. This is the birthday of the Illuminati. 1776. This is the birthday of the Illuminati. May the 1st. Okay? And everything else to go with May the 1st. See, you got to understand, folks, 
You have people that practice practice stuff since biblical days. Numerology is one of them. Uh, witchcraft, black magic, whatever you you know, uh, idol worship, pagan worship, other than the Most High. They give they give homage to idols and objects, and sacrifice babies, men, women, or whatever the case, animals to the pagan object or idol. The devil requires souls. The devil requires deviation. The devil requires destruction of mankind. His main thing, he want to destroy us all. Racism is a mechanism by the demonic masters. He used that to pitch the white against the black, the black against the white. And we fall for it every time. Via social media, this is why you have your cops and reality on, on your stage of killing black boys and boys vice versa shooting at the cops. All these things are stirred up by your demonic masters. This is spiritual. It always has been spiritual. This is why it's attack on religious institutions now in 2016. They don't want no religious institution because you wake up the flock of mankind and bring them back to the cross. It will not be no more demonic masters. It, they will not control the masses. So they must keep you confused. They must keep you in a convenient state. They must keep the liquor stores on the street. They must keep the hoism going on the internet. They must keep this social media on hot. It's not going to stop. They want you to destroy yourself. Yes, this is the this is the ultimate destruction of mankind. Abortion, extortion, blackmail, demonic tycoonism. Drugism, all isms of destruction, they control. Look at the propaganda. Look at Donald Trump. Every rally, every convention, every little thing he went to, conference or whatever, to speak at the podium of politics, violence follow. Racial tensions follow. Every, I seen one, what, two days ago? F Donald Trump. I like what and the, and it kept getting louder and louder. People saying fuck the okay, okay. But it's serious. This is how serious it, it is. It's not a game, folks. It's real. When you can't get out your stuck state. The demonic masters got you on a plantation within your mind. You're mentally enslaved. When your relationships keep going bad, when you find yourself at a crossroads and um, you you feel like you have suicidal thoughts, if you don't have su suicidal thoughts, you become a drug addict and um, you, you indulge in drugs and or you become a pervert, you, be, you, you indulge in uh, masturbation. Uh, women don't become uh, qualifications for you no more. You go into all these fetishes. All this, all this, all this is destruction to mankind. Let me tell you. Let me point out something. I've done some videos about um, um, sex dolls, and it's true. I, you know, I wanted to see for myself, so I went up on a porn site. Oh yeah, and I said, I'll be damned. I'll be damned. And it's a deep, it's a deeper hit. When I see grown men, grown ass men, sticking a manhood in a figure, this ain't no homo shit. It is what it is. I'm straight heterosexual. I'm just trying to point out something to you. No disrespect to the homosexual community. I'm a heterosexual man, so. If I get in comments, I, let me clarify that right now. I'm just talking about this as a subject. Now, because because we all grown up here, and people that watch porn, you as a man, you watch porn, you're gonna be saying a man's penis going in a woman. So cut the bullshit. Um, that's 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 just nature. That's the way it is. That's what happens. That's how babies get here. But anyway. The thing is, when you see that, it's something wrong with that. It's demonic. And you wonder why you have pedophiles and mass murders. That's demonic. These things are objects. That's it. Made out of material. 
they heat the they make it like a makeshift they make it like a almost a replica of a real human being but it's never going to be a creation of a human being uh, they got life-size ones with big butts and booties and, and titties and everything and they have little ones like little dolls and i sit up here and watch and i say you know what that's it click click i'm done and you wonder why the son of man has to come back he got to come back he got to come back because when you see stuff like that it's a clear case of the demonic masters again and, and, and let me point this out it's nothing new under the sun folks because the same stuff they doing now what they done back in ancient days and biblical days and every civilization that practice in state province or what have you of any area that practice in those activities a calamity came famine came destruction came the elements of earth wind and fire came and it was destroyed because it was not in the law and the doctrine of the most high in the commandments men you and women we must get back to the commandments the statutes the laws the dogmas and the oaths of the most high all of my productions not going to play games with you as i get older i getting more i'm getting more serious because I see it every day out in these streets. You cannot avoid it. You, When you are not in that, uh, how would I put it? When you're not in that category and when you're not, and you know these things like I'm speaking, you can see, the, you can see it on people. You can see it. By the way they talk, by their body language, by the way they walk, you can see that they under demonic attack. Meaning, the masters got them on the plantation, and the plantation is their mind. Understand what I'm saying? It's mental slavery. The devil controls your mind. Your mind controls your soul, and your soul controls your mind, and he wants your mind, body, and soul, mentally, physically, and spiritually. And he's doing a good job of it all the killing in Chicago, all the killing in Baltimore, all the killing in Washington, D.C., DMV, Virginia, major cities, inner cities, suburbia, murder, mayhem, rape, destruction. Yes, 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 yes. Mentally enslaved, demonically mentally enslaved. I wanted this to be long. Oh, yeah. See, I'm a person that sits back and think before, like I tell people, I run off at the mouth. I'm not, I'm not up here on YouTube to be a millionaire, a billionaire, or, 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 or fantasy show. I'm up here to spread the logic and truth. I'm up here to spread love to the mankind. Not up here, you know... To everyone get their own engineer, let them float their boat. But this is what you're gonna get for all of my productions. I see the constant beefing, trolling, all that is demonic. When you have a channel, I know y'all get tired of me saying this, but when you have a channel. And can't focus on your channel. You got to pick on other people uh, that's trying to, you know, do what they want to do that makes them happy. And talk about them and ridicule them and talk derogatory and cuss them out on their comment section. That shows me you on a form of demonic slavery. And you are mentally enslaved by the demonic masters. See, I'm not going to play with grown adults. Because when you're an adult, you're supposed to know. I expect little kids and teenagers to do that. And what, I, what, you know, what makes me cringe when I see mature, supposedly mature adults 
act like they're children. I expect that from the Facebook generation, the Instagram generation, not the YouTube generation. Because you, YouTube been around for a minute. Then you got Patreon. Then you got this gun, uh, excuse me, uh, GoFundMe campaigns. But when you see adults act like children, that's another form of demonic attack. And it's a form of they miss they miss they miss the boat. This is why education and knowledge is everything. This is why wisdom is everything. Cause when you can again you can see that. You can tell when men and women are undeveloped. Mm -hmm. Their minds are not fully developed. Not to poke fun at them. It's not their fault. We gotta stop that shit. We, if you can't help nobody, encourage somebody, you are a demon. You are a devil. You gotta poke fun at somebody, talk about someone, talk about how they look, talk about they fat or skinny, talk talk about anything, about their body or make fun. You are a devil. And you are the fool. When, when I hear people, when I when I remove myself around people like that, I don't care who you are. It's like it's, it's, it's like I don't want you in my space because it's ignorant and ignorance I hate, and I'm fighting against it every day. Ignorance I hate, stupidity I hate. Foolishness, I hate. Liars, I hate. People that hit that divide and talking fourth tongue, I hate. Jealousy, yes, I really do hate that. That's what's killing black men at a, at a quick pace and black women. We are too jealous of each other. Over what? You want to blame something on slavery? You need to blame that. And, and right up until now, it's the same old, same old. When you make it, they think you better than them. You cannot, you cannot satisfy us. When you make it, oh, you bet you think you better than us now. But nigga, you had the same chance. Get off your ass and do something to make a new. Just like the woman. Even family members. It's good when you're down and out, but when you when you shining, oh, here we here go. Oh, you think you better than me? Oh, nah, nah. I'm tired of fucking suffering. I'm tired of living in shit. I want to make a new. I don't think I'm better than you. I'm trying to do something with my life. Not dwell in a damn cesspool of damn hell. Here, like I say, like I say, here it go again. Demonic slave masters. All of my productions. <laughs> y'all gotta get it, folks. Y'all gotta get it. Y'all gotta you gotta free yourself from the demonic mental slavery that's that's plaguing you. This is why you having problems in your life. Cause certain things are deterring you for for, for living a fulfill see, and another thing, people it, it, it's sad before I end this. I'm gonna tell you another thing. The saddest thing is for a man and a woman to go to the grave and haven't fulfilled their God given talent. You must find your God-given talent. You must not let no one stop you from finding your God-given talent. And you must pursue what you love and what you love to your dead to your heart. If you can't fulfill that, you know where you're at. The master's got you. You're on a demonic plantation. And you, you are mentally enslaved by the demonic masters. Peace. I hope you enjoyed this publication. More to come. All of my productions, I'm out. Fucking Willie D, Willie D, the coon killer, the coon killer, Willie D, get old boys, Bushwick Bill, Scarface, legendary gangster Nip, I used to listen to all those, what, Fifth Wall Boys, my country gentlemen, my hardcore Houston brothers or what have you. It, it, it's very ironic. I think Papa Loke trying to get some money now. You know, trying to get some views, trying to get some social media buzz. I ain't hear from 
Willie D since bald head girls. Willie D, what they call? You know, all that good shit back in the day. You know, he done some some funny shit, some crazy videos back in the day. He done some gangster shit, all that era of the dirty south, what have you. Now he didn't join Tyreek Nashi in the renaissance of the cool train when it comes to talking about these coons. You know, I'm not mad at this guy because some of the stuff he was pointing out in his rap was right, but the age, the time, okay, bro. But I'm going I'm to I'm take you a little bit deeper, y'all. You know it's coons. It's always been coons. This is anything different. Ain't nothing but modern day Uncle Tom's. Bootlickers, WB Shines, Minstrels, Moonwalking on the social media stage. I'll keep telling y'all that. They're going to be the ones that sell you down the drain. You got some Negroes, I hate to say it. They take the road from your average back in the day KKK. They, they black, but they might as well have a white robe on chasing you through the woods. Just like the ones back in the day with slave catching our ass. Yes, you do have some Negroes will sell you down the drain and they kiss white supremacy's butt crack. Yes, you do. Because this is their only means of getting money. Okay? They will sell you out. But when their time is useless, they it's too late in the game, they try to jump back and they get old past, they get old past being revoked. You know, they, it's time, you know, it's over. And that's a sad shame when they finally come to fruition that all the stuff they didn't done to their own culture didn't serve no purpose. But it's too late now. The gig is up. And that's a hurting feeling. They can't go back to either side. And that's fucked up. My thing is this. This, 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 is, this is getting childish, folks. If you know certain people are cool, not even famous. You got coons in your everyday life. Like I always say in my other videos. Okay, you know this is Uncle Tom. You know you don't get along. You know you don't fuck with Uncle Tom's. Leave him alone. Don't fuck with him. You know? Fuck Uncle Tom. I mean, if you don't like him, it's like the women. They sell outs. They want to swirl. Let them swirl their ass to the other side. I think sometimes black people... In general, we make a lot out of, a, lot, a lot out of nothing. This man is trying to get money. That's what I say. This man is playing the social media game like everyone else. Why not? Why not make a fucking album addressing the coons? Why not get a little few coins in your pocket? And I heard the group. I heard the group trying to get. They get. Um. They started a GoFundMe page. You know, Willie D and his boy. So. But you know that's you know that's how it goes, y'all. That's how it goes. You know, I just got went of it today. And shit, I was laughing my ass off when I seen that shit. Cause I just got one of this shit today. Shit was funny as hell. Yeah, people. Yep. A lot of things, a lot of things, a lot of things, folks. When it comes to this, this, this crazy shit, it, it's very funny. Very funny. Why we sit back and look at the tube in our comfort zone and even even in the District of Columbia and Washington D.C., the water is bad. Some of the schools I caught a news flash on that. Flint, Michigan, still going through their problems. I got a news flash on that. I think a young boy got shot in Baltimore by the police. He had a toy gun. I got a news flash on that, but they say he survived. Thank God. Thank God he's going to live. Someone must have been saying, <coughs> "Excuse me." 
<clears throat> the residents of Baltimore must be sending some prayer for this for that young man. I'm so happy you're going to survive. So many of them don't due to senseless activity. That's what we need to be focused on, folks. But we're going to sit on here, coonest, you coonest, you coonest, you coonest, you. And he's a grown man, way past 21. So what? Why? What's the big? What's the big ordeal? What's the big ordeal? Ordeal about that? I mean, what's the big problem? You gonna have those when they get a certain amount of money? They gonna turn to Oreo? Yes, you gonna have those. You gonna have those to say fuck the black community. I'm glad. I, I'm glad I'm out that hellhole. I ain't keeping it real. I ain't passing baton down to my brothers. I ain't giving them shit. Get yours, motherfucker. I got mine. Fuck you. Yes, you got black men like that. And you got a lot of black men like that. And black women. They give two less shits about where they come from. They hated where they came from. They glad they got us famous. And fuck the rest of them. Let them stay and, and, and stay bottom feeders for the rest of their life. They don't give a fuck. Again, I'm going to point out. Again, I said this in my long, I said this long time ago in my videos. You have your intellectual Negroes, and you have your undeveloped Negroes. You un your un intellectual Negroes. And I'm gonna say this to these young people and some of these people my age. I'm gonna tell you right now, the coons are the ones that's intellectual. The coons are the ones that's true pro, pro blacks and whole taps. The coons are the ones that speak out about white supremacies. A white supremacy, excuse me. The coons are the ones that try to help the fabric and the infrastructure of the black community. The coons are the ones that's trying to work for themselves and start their own businesses by themselves. The coons are the ones that's, that's not supporting these high tennis shoe prices where in, only, in the third world countries only takes a buck and a quarter and a, and a sweatshop to make these Nikes and all that. And their shelf life is short and they, and they, and their street life is short because they built for the motherfucking court. And we paid two or three hundred dollars for for this shit. And our kids, kids can't eat. Parents going broke while the basketball players, NBA basketball players getting money. And they ain't fucking talking about this. Only a faithful few. Why these inner city kids got to play so much for these fucking tennis shoes. And they ain't getting out of school. Some of them fucking up and, and, and getting in crime just to buy some tennis shoes. Those are not the coons. Savages. Posting drugs up day in and day out, rapping about drugs, sex, twerking all day, Instagram showing ass all day while their kids run around in the background screaming with shitty diapers and, and pissy diapers and while their mother's showing their ass in a stank ass apartment not cleaned up. Those are not your coons. But people like me, I'm the fucking coon. Oh, y'all say, damn, this dude is switched up. Yeah, because this is this is what's going on. Dudes like me, I'm a coon. Mm-hmm. Oh, he uppity nigga. He we no, it's still <laughs> black folks, 2016, we still embrace this activity. Like living in a low income place is something to feel good about. Living in a flop house. Robbing about and, 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 and glorifying a trap house. Go and find crime. Go and find uh, unhealthy ways of living. Glorify all that shit. And we consider that not being a coon. But when a nigga try to rise above his means and get out his deplorable state, try to be a father of the household, try to demand respect as a black man, stand up to white supremacy, and stand up and take care of home and take care of his children. Oh, he's a fucking coon. He's a sellout. He's a Clarence Thomas motherfucker. I told you all of my productions go deep. I don't know about the rest of these cats. That's why I was cracking up when I hit heard that Willie D. Like I said, I really don't got nothing against this dude. I grew up with the ghetto boys. But it's getting old, folks. The shit is getting old. You can scream coon is coon all day. But if I'm pointing out some issues when people like me and other people that's real and true to the game and trying to and trying to uh start something that, that is positive for our own folks, 
Not trying to be racist. Not trying to subtract other races. Because they do subtract us. You know, other races, they take care of their culture. They know about their culture and they know about this culture. They get two forms of schooling. Their culture, where they come from, their lineage, their biological tree, how they how their cultures practice all kinds of sorts of things and their experience and they and they race and they creed, but we only get the American teaching. We only get the Anglo teaching. Have us still in 2016 don't even know about our own background as black African Americans. Not really African Americans, Africans and Moors. Really Moors. We don't know still some of us in this 2016 about the plight of the black man and the black woman and about the whole black experience how it posed to be taught but when I say stuff like this oh he's a coon well nigga won't you go back to Africa no see it's a lot of misconceptions catch 22s and a whole lot of bullshit to go with this topic about a coon and what a coon is but just like these, these these black men bashing black women. Oh, that's not. Oh, oh yeah. That's that's the next hot button issue. Black woman is God, and black men bashing black women. I have done a couple videos about that. Just constantly on 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 social media. That's constantly beating black women down. Oh, those are not coons. Those are the most glorified men on YouTube and social media. Yes, brother. Keep on talking about the black sister. She ain't nothing. Those are not coons. But when I say something about what are y'all talking about? All black women ain't like, oh, he's a simp. Oh, he worshiped the ground they work. Oh, 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 I mean, excuse me. He worshiped the ground they walk on. Oh, here, drink that bath water. Oh, look at this bitch. Look at this Negro. He's a bitch. He's a man, Jana. He's a con. Black man, black woman, y'all got to use proper mathematics, okay? Y'all put, we, we tend to put everybody under the bus in one category. You got all types of black folks with different ideologies, different subjects, different, different ways of doing things, different styles and profiles, not just one. We are not a one-dimensional race. We are multi-dimensional. But it seems like in these days, we are one-dimensional. Well, we, when I be looking on social media, because it seems like we've been, be, I'm going to tell you what's been going on for the past, damn, since I've been on YouTube. Roasting, cracking, beefing. This is, these are from, this, this is from, this, this is well-grown adults that's doing this shit. These ain't no little teenagers or adolescents. These are adults, grown-ass people. Roasting, cracking, talking about coons. Talking about simps, talking about manginas, back and forth, back and forth, and swirling, and this, that, and the other. Same old shit. And talking about uh, relationship, gender wars. Same old shit. Not talking about the infrastructure. Not talking about what we're going to do for the next four or five hundred years in the future. Not in the past. We got these Negroes still hanging on the crutch of slavery. Blaming slavery on a... On what's going on in their lives now. You got to get off that fucking crutch. You got to get off that crutch. We got to. Oh it's due to slavery. This is why we are. This is why we. The way we is now. Bullshit. You want to be that way. You want to be that fucking way. That's a cop out. But as long as we brace this ignorant. Activity. This, this schoolyard bully. Or this schoolyard childish. Bullshit playing in a sandbox on social media. Bullshit. You can, you can, you can. That's little kid shit. You don't gotta say nothing. You know this person, Uncle Tom. Guess what? You know this job ain't nothing but a, a bunch of Uncle Toms. Okay, that's like putting a, a real red, black, and green brother in an Oreo job with a bunch of Oreo niggas. That's over. Or that's over him, and he's a worker bee. Now, you know goddamn well the pro-black Negro is out of there. You know, no damn, you know, goddamn well that's not going to work. That's not going to work. Oh, look at him. He got them dreads. Oh, oh, oh he's disgusting. He's uncivilized. He's savage. He don't got these tight-ass European suits on. No black men ain't built like that. But we, we walking around killing our nuts, 
killing our circulation trying to emulate someone else that's another video walking around with these tight ass suits looking like we in a goddamn sardine uh, can um, trying to pee somebody that's not even our culture it's, it's, it's stupid but those are the same ones oh he's not fashionable oh, he's not presentable he's too much black power he need to be an intellectual he need to talk like poindexter ah, we cannot uh, even though he has credentials his credentials are outstanding he's overqualified qualified but the way he looks and the way he talks he's too too black too strong won't you just emulate brother won't you just be like the rest of us rest of us white supremacy ain't that bad we got a blue we got a we got a a, a blue eyed chick blonde hair chick we live in the in the uh, in the uh, hills and we got the white picket fence I ain't trying to be racist but you do got niggas like that and if you the other way talking about rah 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 10 10 15 black lives matter this that and the third guess what you off the month you off you you out of there you're done so it's it's a, it's a case of point give it the people that is in your circle give it the people that is for your cause give it the people that support your cause and stay with your own flock and you can remove yourself around people you think unquote unquote is uncle tom's and coon sellouts wb minstrels moonwalking on the social media stage y'all put too much emphasis on mediocre shit bullshit not even serious shit and there's some serious shit that's going on and we got to focus on that as black folks but this coon shit that's going to go on again it's two types of black men it's strong pro-black real hotel black men that's for the cause and it's sellouts snakes backstabbers and will do anything to get the almighty dollar you got to pick which one you're going to be but when you try to play evil oil, that's when your ass is in danger. And that's about it. I can go on and on about this shit because it goes deep. But I want to I wanna turn up the heat a little bit and put some asses on the grill and burn them. You know, I'm going to burn that knowledge in your mind. All of my production. Check out that Willie D video, though. That's some funny ass shit. You talking about coons, y'all. I think his name, uh, let's put Willie D. Coon, Coon LP or Coon, Coon uh, Music or Coon DVD, whatever. Just Willie D. Coon. It'll come on up in a Google box. Some funny shit. 2016, motherfuckers off the scales already. And, and, and summer is going to be another long, hot motherfucking summer. All of my productions, peace the fuck out.